If you have done the CCNA and are now wondering what are the next steps you need to take to advance your career in the field of network engineering, then this video has got you covered. How's it going guys and welcome to another video. First things first, if you're new here, as always, do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and also comment what you think about the different videos that I make. If you haven't checked my previous videos out, you can pause this video, check the description for a few links, go to the channel, check the previous videos that I've made around network engineering, security, cyber security, etc. And let me know what you think about the content and I'll try to improve it video by video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing what next after the CCNA. Most of us would have been in a space or maybe are in a phase where we've done the CCNA, but what after this? What after working as a network engineer for let's say a year or two years? In this video, I'm going to decode the three best pathways that you can undertake to ensure that you achieve maximum success in this domain. Look, there are different pathways that you can go down, but the three most important ones that I have shortlisted are the CCNP, cloud networking and network security. So let's first look at the CCNP. The CCNP is uh, the next step after the CCNA when it comes to Cisco's certification path. The CCNP also stands for Cisco Certified Network Professional and it is more advanced as compared to the CCNA. The format for Cisco's CCNP has constantly changed over the years and the most recent one is where you've got to give two exams to be a CCNP certified engineer. The first one being a core exam, also called as the Cisco Encore. And the second one is a concentration exam, which focuses more on in-depth advanced domains within networking. With the core exam, it's also a written exam for the CCIE. So if you have this in mind that you want to be a CCIE down the track, then potentially this is an exam that you should uh, attempt and you can then focus on getting into the more advanced concentration domains within networking. As mentioned, if you want to be a CCNP, you've got to pass the core as well as the concentration exam. The core exam is the same for everyone, but with the concentration exam, you have different domains that you can focus on. And some of them include automation, uh, wireless networking, designing of Cisco networks, advanced routing and switching, etc. Software defined networking is also listed as one of the advanced concentration exams. Therefore, if you are interested in software defined networking and want to know all about Cisco's flavor of software defined networking, then that's the exam you can undertake. So as you can already see, if you want to further expand your knowledge within Cisco, and focus more on in-depth networking, then potentially the CCNP pathway is the best one for you. I've already cleared the Cisco Encore 350-401 exam, which is the core exam for the CCNP. I've made a video on how to pass that exam, so you can check the description or check the top of the screen right now. Go and watch that video if you're attempting the Cisco Encore. From my experience, once you do the CCNA and you're working for, let's say, two to three years in networking, then it would be the perfect time to take the next step and go more in depth by attempting and passing the CCNP certification track. The second pathway that you can undertake is cloud network engineering. Cloud networking is one of the most essential or integral networking domains in today's day and age. It's very famous and there are a lot of individuals who are looking to transition more and more into cloud-based networking. One of the main reasons for this is the increase in cloud technologies, mainly by two providers called Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. A quick look at what is cloud engineering. It is where you move all your infrastructure, your services, your applications, everything to the cloud. You pay only for what you use, so you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to cloud computing as compared to having all of these services in your on-premise infrastructure. As a result of this, a lot of organizations are looking to transition into the cloud with their IT setups. And as already mentioned, Amazon and Google are two of the biggest players when it comes to cloud engineering and cloud technologies. Therefore, a lot of network engineers are looking to adopt or undertake the networking from a cloud perspective. Because of this transition where a lot of organizations are moving to the cloud, 
it's also but obvious that the networking for these organizations also needs to take place in the cloud and that is why the demand for cloud network engineers has increased many fold over the past few years if you are interested in being a cloud network engineer you need to know how to build hybrid networks networks that connect a cloud network to an on-premise network you need to know how to perform cloud networking within cloud infrastructures as well to help with this transition you have two good certifications that you can focus on the first one being the aws advanced networking specialty which focuses on cloud networking from an amazon perspective and the second one is the professional network engineer offered by google cloud which on the other hand focuses on networking from a google cloud perspective so if you are interested in cloud networking then these two certifications can help fast track your transition into cloud networking one thing that i must say is that the foundations for cloud networking is the exact same foundations that you would get when you're studying for the ccna hence why this is a pathway that i strongly recommend you do after completing your ccna don't just jump straight into studying for cloud networking rather do the ccna first get your foundation strong and then look to transition into cloud networking the third pathway that you can undertake is network security just like cloud networking network security which is also a very big part of cyber security is also a pretty hot domain right now because the need for security is increasing by the hour you have a lot of engineers looking to transition into network security and then ultimately into cyber security as a network security engineer along with networking you'll be focusing a lot on firewalls network intrusion detection systems prevention systems a lot of security principles that you wouldn't potentially look at when you're a network engineer if you want to know how exactly you need to transition from being a network engineer to a network security engineer don't worry i've got you covered i've made a separate video on that i've also got a playlist on network security so you can check that out and it will definitely help you if you want to complete your transition but if you're interested in firewalls security and your end goal is potentially somewhere along the cyber security realm then network security could be the best pathway that you undertake some of the certifications now that can help you complete this transition into network security would be the CompTIA Security Plus, which focuses on cyber security as a whole, and network security is a part of this certification. Along with this, you can also do a few Fortinet certifications or a couple of Palo Alto certifications, example, the PCNSA, which again, I've got you covered. I've made a video, a complete review on that exam. So make sure you check that out if you wanna know how to pass the PCNSA. So there you go. These were the three pathways that you can undertake after completing your CCNA. If you've got any questions, please feel free to drop it in the comment section. If you have any feedback related to this video or any of the previous videos, also feel free to comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.